Hi everyone, myself Amalas Meena from RMD Engineering College, working as an assistant professor in NCE department. I welcome you all to the video lecture on electron devices and circuit theory. In this presentation, we are going to see about what is PN junction diode and their different biasing conditions followed by their VA characteristics. We all know that PN junction diode is the combination of P-type and N-type semiconductor. In P-type semiconductor, the majority carriers are holes similar to that in N-type semiconductor, the majority carriers are electron. When these two semiconductor materials are combined together, it will create the PN junction diode. Here, what is PN junction? It will act as an interface or boundary between these two semiconductor materials. Here we can able to see the symbol of PN junction diode. Actually, it has two terminals. One is positive terminal, we will call them as anode. And another one is negative terminal, cathode. Now we are going to see about types of biasing conditions in PN junction diode. Here, what is biasing? Biasing is nothing but applying external voltage potential to our diode. In diode, we are having three types of biasing conditions. They are zero bias, forward bias and reverse bias. Let's see about them one by one. Coming to zero bias condition, from the name itself, we can understand that there is no external voltage is applied to the PN junction. But here we have combined P-type and N-type materials, right? So majority carriers from high concentration region will try to move into low concentration region. For example, electrons from N-type semiconductor will try to move into P-type semiconductor. Similar to that, holes from P-type semiconductor will try to move into N-type semiconductor. This process is known as diffusion. Due to this, we will be also having diffusion current in PN junction diode. After a while, our diode will reach equilibrium state. We can also call them as steady state or neutral state. This state will produce potential barrier area around the junction. Now, what will happen to this area? In that zone, the width of depletion region is fixed and it will act as a barrier for further movement of electrons and holes. That's why we are calling them as potential barrier. Normally, silicon, it will be having potential barrier of 0.7 volt and germanium will have 0.3 volt. Moving into forward bias condition, negative voltage is applied to the N-type material and positive voltage is applied to the P-type material as we see here. So, negative voltage ripples the electron as well as positive voltage ripples the holes towards the junction. As a result of this, the depletion layer width will be reduced. Then, what about the current flow in PN junction? When the external voltage becomes greater than our potential barrier, I mean 0.7 volts for silicon and 0.3 volts for germanium, then current will start to flow in PN junction diode. At this built-in voltage, we are going to have sudden current flow, right? This voltage, we will call them as knee voltage. Now, let's see about reverse bias condition. It's totally opposite to our forward bias condition. Here, positive voltage is given to the N-type material and negative voltage is given to the P-type material. So, we all know that positive voltage attracts the electron and negative voltage attracts the holes towards the electrodes. So, of course, depletion layer width will increase. Then, what will happen to the current flow? Due to lack of electrons and holes in the wide depletion layer, Almost it will act as an insulator, so it won't conduct the current, but there will be a small leakage current in microamps. After we give enough reverse voltage, at one point, PN junction diode will get overheated and it may be failed due to avalanche EFI. This voltage can be called as reverse breakdown voltage. That's all about the biasing condition. Coming to the end. This graph explains the relation between voltage and current in both forward and reverse bias condition. As we have seen earlier, in forward bias condition, we will be having sudden current flow at knee voltage. In reverse bias, very first, we will be having leakage current in the range of microamps. After that, breakdown will happen in PN junction diode. Then, where we are using this PN junction diode in our day-to-day -day life? PN junction diode is used in high speed rectifying and switching circuits, in general purpose applications, consumer application and also in telecom application. 
सो आई होप दिस वीडियो लेक्चर विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू ऑल थैंक यू